The word electricity refers generally to the movement of electrons through a conductor in the presence of potential and an electric field. The speed of this flow has multiple meanings. In everyday electrical and electronic devices, the signals or energy travel is electromagnetic waves typically on the order of 50% to 99% of the speed of light, while the electrons themselves move much more slowly. Electromagnetic waves The speed at which energy or signals travel down a cable is actually the speed of the electromagnetic wave, not the movement of electrons. Electromagnetic wave propagation is fast and depends on the dielectric constant of the material. In a vacuum the wave travels at the speed of light and almost that fast in air. In the theoretical investigation of electric circuits, the velocity of propagation of the electric field through space is usually not considered. The electric field is assumed, as a precondition, to be present throughout space. The electromagnetic component of the field is considered to be in phase with the current, and the electrostatic component is considered to be in phase with the voltage. The electric field starts at the conductor, and propagates through space at the velocity of light. At any point in space, the electric field corresponds not to the condition of the electric energy flow at that moment, but to that of the flow at a moment earlier. The latency is determined by the time required for the field to propagate from the conductor to the point under consideration. In other words, the greater the distance from the conductor, the more the electric field lags. Since the velocity of propagation is very high a euro about 300,000 km per second a euro the wave of an alternating or oscillating current, even of high frequency, is of considerable length. At 60 cycles per second, the wavelength is 5,000 km, and even at 100,000 Hz, the wavelength is 3 km. This is a very large distance compared to those typically used in field measurement and application. The important part of the electric field of a conductor extends to the return conductor, which usually is only a few feet distant. At greater distance, the aggregate field can be approximated by the differential field between conductor and return conductor, which tend to cancel. Hence, the intensity of the electric field is usually inappreciable at a distance which is still small compared to the wavelength. Within the range in which an appreciable field exists, this field is practically in phase with the flow of energy in the conductor. That is, the velocity of propagation has no appreciable effect unless the return conductor is very distant, or entirely absent, or the frequency is so high that the distance to the return conductor is an appreciable portion of the wavelength. Electric drift The drift velocity deals with the average velocity that a particle, such as an electron, gets due to an electric field. In general, an electron will propagate randomly in a conductor at the Fermi velocity. Free electrons in a conductor follow a random path. Without the presence of an electric field, the electrons have no net velocity. When a DC voltage is applied, the electron drift velocity will increase in speed proportionally to the strength of the electric field. The drift velocity is on the order of millimeters per hour. AC voltages cause no net movement. The electrons oscillate back and forth in response to the alternating electric field. See also, speed of light, speed of gravity, telegraph as equations, reflections of signals on conducting lines. Further reading, ALFVA copyright N, H. Cosmical Electrodynamics. Oxford, Clarendon Press, ALFVA copyright N, H. Cosmic Plasma. Taylor and Francis U.S. General Electric Review, Volume 15 by General Electric. Velocity of Propagation of Electric Field, Charles Proteus and Mitz. Fleming, J. A. Propagation of Electric Currents in Telephone and Telegraph Conductors. New York, Van Nostrand. References. External links, Propagation Times, Locomotive Engineers Journal. Volume 22 by Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers page 692. Describes an unsuccessful experiment from 1888.